Hello! Sam and I'm back. This time with an unboxing of the GeForce GTX 660 Ti. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, anyways. Um, whoop. I like the box, it's awesome. It's all holographic and stuff. But uh, here it is on the back. Oh, can't see it, blurry. Stop being blurry! There we go. Um, let's see what it's got here. Oh, oh, got all the stuff. That it always says apparently it's uh, two times better than the GTX 460. All that stuff. Duh. Yep. Now ah, there we go. Blam. Key features. All that good stuff, two gigabytes. Um, says over here that it supports three contiguous monitors plus a fourth supplemental monitor. Blam! Let's go ahead and zoom back out and open this thing up. Now, right now, on my computer, I have a GTX 560 2GB Super Clocked Edition and uh, I got that at Best Buy I think it was like $249.99 something like that this was, oh, something like that oops, ripped it, oh no, got ripped it um, this one was $349 and I can't get it off I can't get it to open hey, I was supposed to open the other side just open both sides, why not? This one was 349 at uh, Best Buy. And I can't get it. There we go. It's got another box. Two boxes. Fantastic. Oh. Yes, right. Open it like that. Oh man, things. Let's see what we got here. Got a. Oh, what's that? Is it the badge? Probably. Yep, badge. It's got the. Uh, I assume, like, manuals and stuff like that. All that crap. And then. Oh, that's a different. It's not the badge that I'm used to. That's pretty cool. I'm used to, uh. Oh, used to this badge right here. It's my old case. So that's new to me. Move that stuff out of the way. It's this one, uh, yeah. What is that? DVI to VGA or VGA to DVI? Connectors. And what's that? Is that another thing? Or is that just part of the? Oh, it's just part of the box. Okay. <laughs> and then there it is. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Let's throw it all over here. It's a pretty cool badge, actually. So here it is. Don't touch my stuff, woman. Anyways, here it is. I can get it out of there. Apparently, it doesn't want to come out. There we go. Okay, well, that's the whole box. Come on. It's hard to. There we go. Moving my hand around. Tripod. Attention. Observe precautions before handling electron electrostatic sensitive devices. Of course. Whatever you say. As I then proceed to destroying it now. Um whoop. Flip it around. Oh that's cool. Oh. It's actually really cool looking. 
not used to uh, this style because I usually get the uh, super clocked edition and it looks a lot different it's a very cool fan though definitely a lot cooler than most of them that I've seen I'll probably get a different uh, cooler for it though Yep, there it is. Fantastic. So, once I get... Oh, look at that. Thank you. Merci. All that other stuff. Go ahead and uh, get this thrown into the case and see how... Uh, just leave it like that. It's fine. See how it runs. So, I've taken out the 560 and here's a comparison of the two next to each other yeah GTX 560 2GB super clocked edition and the GTX 660 Ti as you can see the uh, GTX 660 Ti is about I don't know let's see how about an inch, yeah, about an inch and a half, maybe two inches longer than the 560. And the 560 only has one spot for an SLI bridge. Meanwhile, the 660 Ti has two. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and get this into there. Which is a, what is it? Thermal Take Chaser MK1 full tower. And uh, I'll be back. Alright, now it's all in. And uh, I just have to install the drivers. Now. I made a discovery when uh, opening it up for the CD and uh, it's got a bunch of stickers ooh stickers or decals whatever you want to call them I'm not used to this because I usually get the uh, EVGA version of the graphics cards like my past two the GTX 550 Ti I've had the EVGA uh, super clocked edition and the 560 I had it was also an EVGA Super clock. So this is the first time uh, for me since like way back when I was a little kid. My first like computer that I had. I was playing World of Warcraft. Uh, this is the first time for me getting just an NVIDIA uh, GeForce. Usually it's like an EVGA. So that's why everything's a lot different for me. And I was <laughs> just coming to that realization as to why the badge was different. I didn't even think. It's in there. And uh, there it is. Can't really see it that well. I mean you can. You just can't, you know, can't see it too well with the, uh, oh god this thing sucks. With the, uh, it's dark obviously. But as you can see, I got a little bit of space there. Pretty decent amount of space. It's I don't know how long I didn't do any research at all on this card, but I assume it looks like it's about 10 inches compared to the uh, 560, which I think was probably around 8 inches. I don't know. I haven't done any research at all, like I just said. I'm just unboxing. But yeah, I'm just letting you know it's in there, and I realized it came with all these, which is pretty cool. Not that I'm going to use them, because my case is obviously blue, and it would kind of clash with like a neon green. I can change the colors. See, Whoop. green. I can change the colors of my fans and everything. Well, some of them. Some of them are uh, aftermarket Antec fans. So, unfortunately, they stay blue. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna put these stickers or anything on my case because it would clash with all the blue. So let's just see how uh, how it runs. Alright, I'm back, 
and uh, I've just ran the um, the you know Windows assessment test thingy and uh, right now it says that uh, my graphics are at 7.9 my gaming graphics are also at 7.9 which I believe the 560 was that like 7.6 or 7.7 .7, one of those so uh, already that's looking better but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run a real benchmarker to see uh, see how it does with that so I'm gonna go ahead and run the X11 benchmarker alright I'm back in the uh, Unigen Heaven DX11 benchmarker running the benchmarking feature alright here it goes so right now it says at the it says the frames are at uh, 25.9 max frames 38.2 minimum frames 16.3 whoa yeah that's definitely a lot better than the 560 it's at 65.9 yeah um usually about now with the 560 uh, 2 gigabyte super clocked the max frames were at about like 40 three with fraps running so this is definitely doing a lot better it's at 65.9 so it's gone up about 20 about 20 frames so I'm just gonna go ahead and let this thing run for a while and uh, I'll show you the the uh, results that it gets so so let this thing run I'm back and here are the results um, of course you have to realize this is with fraps running the whole time um, so the average frames per second is 33.5 I'm sure you can read but I'm just gonna say it anyways uh, scores 845 whatever that whatever relevance that has uh, minimum frames were at 16.3 and the max frames were at 73.7 and you can see the hardware that I'm running is uh, Windows 7 oh it's not hardware obviously it's clearly so I don't know why that's a center hardware. But anyways, <laughs> Windows 7, 64-bit uh, uh, processor I have is the Intel i5 2500K. Um, I don't know why it says it's running at 3.3. It's not. That's the stock. It's actually at about 4.2, I think. Yeah, I have it overclocked at about 4.2. Um, yeah, that's all, that's all it lists. But uh, yeah. Heaven Benchmarker version 3.0 basic and there's the results so I'm gonna go ahead and run it again uh, without the frap without fraps running uh, at the same settings which you can see right there it's everything set up as high as I can get it and uh, I'll go ahead and throw like a screenshot or whatever of the results instead of just recording it again so I'll do that after this one and then from here I'm going to go into maybe a game or something to show how it works but that'll probably be, that might even be a separate video but uh... here I go goodbye well I lied I am recording it but here's the results without fraps and as you can see it's uh, quite it's uh, quite better with the uh... average 36 Scores at 906, minimum is at 19.9, and the max is at 92.4. With the same settings, obviously. So as you can see, definitely, definitely, uh, fraps definitely affects things. <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, I think I'll do the uh, video game, like the different game uh, examples in a different video. So uh, I guess I'll just see you next time.